Mutsa, thanks very much for joining you uh, for this interview. And first, uh, congratulations for having qualified for the upcoming FIH Hockey Women's uh, Junior World Cup. First question, how does it feel simply to play a World Cup? Um, it feels really surreal, I would say. Um, and really, it is a dream come true, I think, not just for myself, but for my teammates as well. I think it's something that we've all been working towards and all been dreaming about, I think, for, for years now. Um, it is a challenge, but an exciting challenge, I think, for all of us. So I'd say that it's, yeah, it's something that we are looking forward to and that I am particularly excited about. What are your expectations for the tournament? I think as a team, we really are looking to, you know, push for a podium finish. That is the, the big goal. Um, but I think really is just to go out there and, you know, learn a lot, I think, um, about working and um, playing in such a, at such a big event. Um, and I think taking up the challenge and just going in there and really just putting up a fight. Um, I think also just going in there and enjoying our hockey making sure that, you know, we're having fun as we play, I think is, is such a big thing because from there we're then able to, to really um, play well, I think is, is, is such a big thing. Um, and just expecting to go out there and, and make a mark, I think for Zimbabwe as well and Zimbabwe hockey um, to, to really show just how much we've been preparing and show um, how ready we are to, to do this. Zimbabwe have, has played this uh, competition three times already, uh, including the last edition in 2016. Will you be talking to players uh, from that time precisely to get some insights? Yeah, no, definitely. Um, I think it's always important to, to reach out to people who have gone before you to understand exactly, um, you know, what, what it feels like, um, just the atmosphere, how they dealt with, you know, coming onto this world stage and, you know, how it, how it was that they, they performed and just getting insight into things that they felt they needed to work on, things they think they felt um, worked well. And I think there's always, it's always important to, to make sure that you get that feedback um, in order for us to go out there and perform well. You're in a pool with the Netherlands and two North American teams, namely Canada and the USA. Any comment on these teams? Yeah, I think these are these are some really top teams, um, and it is a bit it is a bit daunting. I think when we first saw the pools, it was a bit daunting, but I think it's it's a challenge that we are excited to come up against, um, and we know that it, it it only pushes us to to produce um, hockey of a, of the highest caliber. As the captain of the team, will you have a specific message for your teammates? Um, I think the first thing is that I am just absolutely proud of them and so um, in awe of how passionate and how hard they've been working and how dedicated they have been for the past couple of years at working at this. Um, again, to just tell them that they, they, they're there for a reason. Um, they're capable of, you know, really doing the most amazing things. I'm so proud of them. And I know that so many people behind them are so proud of them. And I'm just committing and promising to walking this journey with them, um, really being there to support them and see them through. And just for them to keep believing in themselves and believing in, in the hockey that they've been playing and understanding that they've got what it takes to really do well. Have you already played in South Africa? Yes. And any memories from, from that time? Um, I think a couple of memories. Um, some I We went down for a tournament, in, but this wasn't uh, an international tournament. It wasn't playing for Zimbabwe, but that was more in, in secondary school and, and going in for tours. Um, and I think it was, it, was a really, it was a really nice experience because we got to play teams, you know, we'd become so used to playing just nationally and, and just at home. But I think coming up against a different sort of level of playing and, you know, different, I guess, skill sets as well, we were able to, to learn a lot and also, I guess, just play in, in a different environment as well and understand um, what the climate is like as well to play in South Africa. And how will you now prepare for this event? 
I think just working really well at what we've been doing already, just um, working at, you know, um, the, the program that we have, which is just our training sessions, um, working at playing matches and how we're going to structure um, the structure that we're going to be playing, using as we play, and just making sure that um, we are all fit. Um, that's one of the big things, I think, just the fitness that we need to to be able to to play well and play the amount of matches that we're going to be playing is going to require us to be to be really fit um, and really working at our recovery. Wuta, thank you very much. Uh, wishing you already uh, all all the very best uh, for for the tournament. Uh, and thanks a lot. Good luck. Thank you very much. Um, and to anyone who is looking to support us and to watch us, um, the all the games are going to be live streamed on Watch Hockey and you'll be able to access it from any part of the world. So anyone who is rooting, any and everyone who's rooting for Team Zoom, make sure that you do sign up to Watch Hockey um, and you can catch all of our matches there.